Alright. Round three for Ricardo here. Still on sneak and show, because if he if he changed his deck he would be cheating and we would catch him on YouTube. And and don't cheat. Cheating's naughty. Uh against another anonymous opponent. Now again, they've requested to remain anonymous, so people in the comments please respect that. Thank you. Uh our anonymous player starting off on a uh, Scrubland and an Ether Vial. Ricardo starting us on a basic island and a ponder. Now, our Esper Vial player here is technically playing Esper Vial, but it is a more combo heavy variant. I have no idea where he got this deck from, but he's been playing it. Um, that looks like. A uh, expeditions fetch. I have no idea what that is. Expeditions are are beautiful cards, but they all kind of look the same. That's that's their only downside. At the very least, it's fetching a underground sea, so it's it's either blue, black, or or both. I guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Probably better. And a meddling mage. Now, <laughs> meddling mage is is a pretty good card against a combo deck like Sneak and Show. Uh, Ricardo realizing that he can't let that resolve decides to force it, pitching a ponder. Our anonymous player here is like maybe it's the play mat. I don't know what it is, but. This player is cursed, as we see Ricardo playing a Ancient Tomb and a Show and Tell. For some reason, whenever our, our, our Vile player here is supposed to appear on coverage, there is something that happens that mysteriously causes everything to, 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 to just go to hell. And suddenly there's no footage, there's no content, and my apologies to this player, because they've been... Like, he's been looking forward to, to being on coverage for quite some time now. It finally happened, and he did it with his, his My Little Pony play mat. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that, because the show and tell resolved. Ricardo puts a Gristlebrand into play, and... Our vile player puts in a, I think a memory lash. Um, I believe that's part of his combo. I just cannot, for the life of me, remember what it does. Now Ricardo decides to pay seven life, draw seven cards. Uh, let's see, fault lash. Just, just Google it. Life. Because it might be relevant. Um, so it has a cumulative upkeep where you you remove increasingly large numbers of cards from your library from the game. And if you don't, you just, just instantly get rid of your library. Um, and then... You can remove the top card of your. You can exile the top card of your library to prevent one damage being done done to you. So should Ricardo decide to attack here with the the Grizzle Brand, uh, our vile player here could just decide to exile the top seven cards of his library and just prevent all that life gain from from the life link on the Grizzle Brand. So. That that's pretty good. Uh, now, as I mentioned, I believe that's part of the vile combo. Uh, I mean, of the the combo, the vile player is is playing. Um, I believe he's also playing Thassa's Oracle. I mean, of course, you're playing Thassa's Oracle. Uh, you have a way to to exile your entire. Your entire deck, uh, and then before you you draw yourself to death, you 
uh, just activate the vial, put the orc on to play, get the trigger, win the game. That's the idea. Uh, Ricardo drawing some more cards here. Now, I believe there is another combo piece that the vial player is playing. Which, again, I've got the name, some, some really obscure card. Ricardo playing a show and tell here. I I think Ricardo is gonna have to find an Emrakul here. This 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 thought lash is not really gonna do anything. Uh, I think that's an omniscience and one of the under combo cards from the vile player. Ricardo does have the Emrakul, which is now cast and. If if anyone watching this knows what in 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 God's name that card is, please let me know, cause I have no clue. I'd... Actually, it it might be the creature version of demonic consultation. Now that I think about it, um, demonic consultation, of course, a I believe a banned card in Legacy. Uh, it does see some vintage play, where you name a card, then you exile the top six cards of your library, and then you just start exiling cards until you reveal the named card, and you add that one to your hand. Now... Uh, seems... I, I believe the Vile player realized that as soon as the Emrakul attacks, the Thought Lash is sacrificed and that's just lethal damage. So it, it, we are going to game two as Ricardo decides that before we go to game two, he wants to know what in the absolute hell is he playing against? <laughs> Uh, such is the life of a magic player. And the answer to that, Ricardo, is a well-dressed gentleman with a My Little Pony playmat who plays a combo in his uh, interactive creature deck. Welcome to Legacy. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> uh, we have a turn one vial coming out from our vile player here that immediately gets forced by Ricardo. Which is is probably a good call. We have a volcanic coming down from Ricardo. Our vile player getting a basic island might be scared of some sort of wasteland shenanigans. Um, I, I think Sneak and Show sometimes plays Wasteland, but we haven't seen Wasteland yet, so maybe I'm wrong on that. Oh, and I missed land drop from our file player. That's a little unfortunate. Damn the beats, another missed land drop. I mean, our file player was on a mulligan five, so this was probably the best his his hand was gonna be. But yeah, four mana, lotus battle, sneak attack. It's still one mana floating. I mean, one mana. Being made here, sneak attack, plays an Emrakul, and unfortunately for our uh, our Vile player, after finally having some some coverage done, it seems this this is this game over. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Again, I don't I don't know why, but like like our Vile player here is just cursed. Uh, we've had a, a bunch of gameplays just lost. Now, this evening, 
we have some some lighting issues uh but despite that he is still on coverage then on coverage he's now receiving the the sneak and show beats yeah it, it happens it happens sometimes sometimes you play magic sometimes magic plays you and that's that's life for you that's his oracle being discarded ricardo just just looking for for something to do here some way of of closing out this game because i mean our, our file player here needs to actually draw land to be fair I was gonna say as long as Ricardo isn't actually finding threats, then then he has time to, to find lands. But the Grizzle Brand decides not. You're out of time, and Ricardo closes out the evening. <laughs>